Now, people, the first thing we check is the oil. Now, people, it's very important you carry a rag, any sort of rag. I've seen young fellas, and not so young, pull a dipstick out and wipe it on their jeans. Well, oil is basically a carcinogenic, as it's classified as these days, and it'll stain your good working clothes, overalls, what have you. Therefore, just carry a rag behind a seat, wherever. Simply pull your dipstick out like this. I always take a wipe like that, place it back in, and just take a reading. Now that's the full mark there. The arrow is pointed at the top notch, that's full. The low is the bottom notch. As long as it's halfway between those, it's quite safe. If it's below the low mark, obviously top it up when the motor's cold. But as long as it's between those two notches, you're quite safe. A lot of turbo motors, you don't overfill those. It can harm your motor if you over top turbo motors. So therefore, it's place to stick between these two notches. Simply place it back in like this. And there it is there. Now this motor is 10 mils over full. But hold there, that is, um, I have noticed with these modern day workshops, they tend to overfill, but that is um, 10 mils over the top notch. Personally, I don't like to do that. I like to keep it between those two notches. But that is the manual, the workshop manual states to keep it between those two notches. But that is over full, like you see that. Anyway, it's just a good experience for people to realise that um, keep it between those two notches, not over full. Right, now, obviously the oil has been overfilled. I would get a drip train, drain some of that myself, I own this vehicle. And it's on fairly flat ground, so we 